when we think about limitless mindset, when we think about limitless lifestyle or limitless leadership, what we're saying is that the old mental model, the old sound bites, the old mm-hmm. things that people, that society, that the media and that the world try to tell me about what is inside me, whether it's my gift, whether it's my talent, whether it's my potential, or whether it's just simply an idea that's just crazy enough to work. Mm-hmm. When you were told you're too old, when you were told you were too young, when you were told you're not in the right industry or that you don't have the right background or that you didn't go to the right school or you don't have the right degree, mm-hmm. we are literally stopping people from optimizing their limitless potential in our schools, in our classrooms, in our boardrooms, and in our living rooms every single day. So what Limitless Mindset says is that I have to really come face to face with all of the things I've been told that put a cap on me. So whether you're a multi-passionate teacher who you may be a phenomenal educator, but you have hobbies and interests that impact the world and that people are always calling on you to be able to share with groups of children or even adults, or maybe you're a principal who has a fantastic idea that could revolutionize your district or revolutionize your state. How are we creating spaces where people feel safe in being limitless? And that is why I created The Limitless Lady, because everything about that statement is almost oxymoronic, because as women, particularly as women of color, we are told that you can go this far and no further, or you can do this, but you can't do this, or you can say this, but definitely don't say that. And when we have created spaces, particularly myself, I have been the only for so many opportunities in my life, I've been either the only woman or the only young person or the only woman of color or the only educator. Sometimes when you stand in your voice, you don't realize that you release people, you give them permission to be free. And so as we go into 2023, a limitless school leader looks like creating spaces where students and teachers and even your superintendents and boards can see the potential past the standards, past curriculum and instruction, past professional development, where teachers feel safe, where students are excited about their new ideas and we embrace them and we bake those in to the things we did in yesteryear that work, but they don't meet the needs of today.